It takes sheer rage to stomp somebody's face repeatedly and, and until they're knocked out cold. Um, that's not okay. And it's time that we stand up. Color 10 speaking to the father of a teenage beating victim who wants justice. Three teens charged with the assault at Hickory Hill School appeared in court today. Color 10's Parker Paget attended the hearings and spoke with the father of the victim. He's live tonight in Springfield. Yeah, the two teens being held here in Greene County will remain in detention for at least another month. A third teen in Christian County is also staying put. I spoke to Derek Moore, the father of the teenage victim. He tells me he's thankful for today's rulings. I'm very frustrated. I, I'm, I'm, I'm hurt for our daughter, for the other kids, for the other parents. My phone, Parker, has, and I'm not exaggerating, hundreds of messages from other parents saying, we've been through this. Derek Moore is trying to get justice for his daughter, who was sent to the hospital last week after an assault at school. For our daughter, it's been absolutely horrible. Um, she's still recovering, um, has to see a plastic surgeon in the morning. Um, she could potentially have permanent damage in her eye. Um, on top of that, she just, she's scared. She doesn't know why this happened. Moore says school is a place where students should feel safe and not face violence like this from their peers. It takes sheer rage to stomp somebody's face repeatedly and, and until they're knocked out cold. Um, that's not okay. And it's time that we stand up. According to the Springfield Public Schools handbook, after the district lets the legal process play out, the students could face up to 10 days of out of school suspension. But the district could impose a harsher punishment. Moore is calling on the courts and the Springfield School District to do more to protect students from bullying. It's the show me state. It's time to show us what you're going to do. Um, to keep this from happening again. If the teens are found guilty in court, they could be placed on probation or be committed to the Division of Youth Services. I want something to finally be done. I'm, I think we're all tired of hearing um, we're working on it. Juvenile officials tell me the two teens here in Greene County will be in detention until at least March 4th when they have a pretrial hearing. Now the third teen in Christian County, I'm told they'll be in detention until at least next Thursday. That's when their pretrial hearing is scheduled. Reporting live in Springfield, Parker Padgett, Color 10 News.